Where do I begin? This weekend has been absolutely insane. On Thursday, you all saw me pick up that huge lot of retro toys, including some really rare G.I. Joes and a whole bunch of Jurassic Park figures, which was crazy by itself. But then, I just went garage sailing and I scored a bunch more fantastic items. I can't wait to take you guys through this and show you everything that I ended up getting. Just know it was another very, very good day out at the sales. But before we hop into all of these insane finds and I show you the footage from this weekend, I'd like to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, Mercari. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you guys know that Mercari is one of the platforms that I like to sell on. I think it's very easy to use and I think it's probably the most beginner friendly platform out there for people to begin their reselling journey on. So when they contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing a video partnership, of course I said yeah. The reason I really like Mercari is because it is very user friendly and super intuitive to use. In fact, Mercari is so easy to list stuff on, I'm going to show you how to list this G.I. Joe in real time right now. Getting an item listed is super easy, that's all you do is come into the app and click list an item, come up top, we're going to upload all of the photos that I took earlier today. What are you selling? We're going to type in G.I. Joe Action Soldier V1 complete perfect come down to describe our item it's in good condition and includes all accessories Ooh, accessories there we go then we get three different hashtags we're going to use the hashtag GI Joe toys and then action figures that looks like a good one then down low category action figures is fine Brand G.I. Joe, condition good, colors green, that's fine, ships from my address. For your shipping, you want to put in the weight of the item, so this is going to weigh about six ounces. We're going to select our carrier, and for this, I'm going to use USPS. Then I'm going to come down to setting my price. I want to get about 35 bucks for this guy, and then we just come down and hit list easy as that. It really is that easy. Like I said, it is super simple and very, very straightforward to list up on Mercari and that's why I like the platform so much. So once again, that link to sign up will be down below this video right now and once again, thank you Mercari for sponsoring this video. And now let's jump into all of those yard sales and garage sales from this weekend. I'm going to show you that footage right now. Anything in particular you're looking for, let us know. Okay, no, I'm not. We might know if we have it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I normally look for like video games or old toys, stuff like that, but okay. I'm well, open to anything. <laughs> here, video games. We don't yeah, have any, any video, video games. games. We have a controller. <laughs> a few movies. Yeah. And some CDs. And yeah, that bin is a miscellaneous toys here. Yeah, Chill, that's funny. Little small blower. <laughs> yeah, those are fun. That is hysterical. Are you selling your bike? Yeah. How much? Ten. On the bike? Yeah. I'll do that. Can I keep it here and then pick it up later? Yeah, no problem. Cool. That'd be that'd be great because that way I can. Yeah, he can ride it home. <laughs> I well, need some tires. Ride. Well, I just don't want to fill up the car right now oh, and then have yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> cool, I'll do that. And then I'll I'll get the controller He's off you for whatever you want that too. I'm going to fill the car up. I'm just filling the car up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have a key to the lock? Uh, yeah. Cool. I will find that by the time you come back. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's cool. These other ones. It's mm, a cool one, but I think I'll pass. Yeah, I like kids. I'm wearing a kid. I love kids, so I don't know. Yeah. 
jukebox. I'll try that one. You don't have the system for this, do you? No. It's not ring. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you asking on the games? Like three bucks a piece. Two, three bucks. Nothing crazy. It's a shame. Red room. I had the swim, the one X. Yeah. Just, <laughs> no. Took a shit on me. I'm like, man. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. It happens. I got the controller too. What do you want on the radio? The old radio. Alright. It does work. I can plug it in the show you if you want to see. Speakers detached from the sides. And yeah, that's why. That's why I saw it. Yeah, old school man. Yeah. The lid does come down and shut yeah. the front. Here you go. What about for that? Uh, Ten bucks. Sounds good. Oh. Easy enough. Mm. All right, I got two hats and then the Leatherman. Five dollars. Works for me. So there's here's some of the stuff that um because in the bedroom oh, okay. that way there's a, a bed and a dresser and then upstairs there's all kind there's a couple of kids beds a loft bed and a bookshelf and books and stuff. Okay, cool. There's stuff down in the basement. Okay, some of it's I'll just not look marked. around then. So the look. basement is done this way. So okay, perfect. American Girl. See those strings? That one's not. That one is though. All right, I think I'm gonna get these two. Awesome, all right. You just didn't have you, wanna, home. you want a, a bag to carry them? No, I'll just carry them out. How much is on her? Um, She's a dollar. A dollar, okay. Yeah, so two dollars. Two bucks, sounds yep. good. All right, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for stopping. Fifty cents for this? Yes. That's what they say your shirt and you want under it so you see shirt. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, sweetheart, thank, thank you so you. much. Alright. I'll grab these two off of you. Up. Sounds good to me. Easy enough. <laughs> okay, so here's that giant bin of video games that I just bought. Um, it's taking up a lot of space here. So I think what I'm going to do is go through and grab all of the games out of here and then just take the entire box of DVDs, whatever's left, up to the Goodwill that's right around the corner because I don't do DVDs. So that'll free up a lot more space in here. So I'm going to do that real quick. Woo, man. Like I just said, that 
was an awesome day of garage sales. I didn't even show you all the footage of everything that I picked up because there was just so much of it. I, I picked up stuff at a ton of different sales. So let me take you through and show you everything that I ended up getting right now. At the very first sale that I stopped at for the day, I went in and found this PlayStation 4 Red controller. This should go for about 35 bucks. At that same sale, I also picked up a Trek mountain bike for $10. I know, right? Crazy. I'll pop a picture of it up right now because obviously it's too big to fit in the room, but I paid $10 for this mountain bike and I think I can sell it locally for around $200 to $300. And this is why I keep a bike rack laying around my house just in case I ever come across a bike for cheap that I think will sell locally pretty quickly because we're in the middle of summer and for some good money. So that is an awesome score. The next sale was at this little storefront that always opens up during this community sale and I ended up getting two items there. The first one is a pretty dang cool Walt Disney World Epcot Center vintage snapback hat. You can see it does have a little bit of staining and stuff on there, but this thing was awesome. I sent a picture over to my buddy Drew at Profit Monsters and he's already claimed this one so this won't be for sale on my shop. However, I did pick up a second item here. This is a Nomad Jukebox Zen Extra. It's an MP3 player and it's a 40 gigabyte one. I ended up looking this up and it looks like it's going for around 40 bucks used and you can see I paid a dollar. So I paid two dollars total for those two items. Not bad. The next pickup was a huge lot of video game stuff. There's this big blue tote just sitting up on this guy's yard and nobody was going to a sale for some reason. Everybody was just walking by. But I walked up there and there was just a huge tote of video games and DVDs all mixed together. He said he wanted $10 for the entire tub, so I was happy to pay that. I took it to my car. I quickly separated out the DVDs and the video games. I didn't have much room, so I kept all the video games, drove around the corner, and dropped off the bin of DVDs at the local Goodwill. But these are the video games that ended up being in the bin. We got Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure on the Xbox, Sims 3 on the Xbox 360, Hitman Xbox 360, Modern Warfare 2, Connect Sports Season 2, Injustice Ultimate Edition, Dishonored, Need for Speed Carbon, Borderlands 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, Harry Potter Potter years 1 through 4, Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City Game of the Year, Rocksmith 2014. I want to pause on this one for a second. If you guys ever see this game out there, look inside of it. If it has a little cable inside of it, that cable makes this game like a $40 game. Without it, it's not worth too, too much, but if it has that little cable with it, it's like 40 bucks. so don't sleep on that game. Then we've got Dead or Alive, Guitar Hero World Tour, we play Raving Rabbids. Here's a good one. I think this is like a $30 game. Mario Strikers on the Wii. High School Musical Band Hero. Wii Sports, another good one to look out for. Karaoke Revolution. Just Dance Kids. I've never seen this game before. Trauma Center Second Opinion on the Wii. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Family Feud Decades. Raving Rabbids TV. Family Game Night 2. Rayman Raving Rabbids. And finally, Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii. So obviously, I am really happy with how that one went. You can't beat like 20 something games for 10 bucks. I'll take that all day long. And if that wasn't enough, at that same sale was an entire rock band set. I'll throw a picture up on the screen because I don't have it up right now. But that entire set with the drums, the guitar, the pedals, all of that stuff combined it will sell for over 200 bucks by itself. So awesome score there. That was 15 bucks. So I paid $25 for all of that video game stuff total. Next set of sale, I grabbed a couple Harley Davidson items. The first one was this little multi-tool right here. It's just a little Leatherman. It is a official Harley Davidson branded one. Not really sure what that'll go for, but I figured for a buck, I'm going to grab it. And then I got two different cabbie caps, a black one with a nice embossing of Harley Davidson right there on the front. And they are official Harley branded ones. You can see the tag right down in there, but the black one right here, and then a pink one again, official Harley Davidson branding on the back with the Harley tag inside. Both of those are in really good condition and I think these I can get between 25 and 35 bucks for each. Then I ended up picking up a few pieces of clothing for 50 cents a piece at the next sale. I got this Chad Johnson number 85 Cincinnati Bengals jersey. It is a stitched one and this one I don't know the value of. I'm going to guess probably around the $25 mark. And then this one was pretty cool to see. I haven't picked up a piece of Jinko in a while. You can see it has the logo right there in the front of the sweater. And then on the back is a really big 
cool dragon graphic. This actually has a pretty big collector's market. If you ever come across Jinko stuff, it, it sells pretty dang well. Here's what the tag looks like. But this hoodie right here should sell right around 50 bucks. I believe this was the next sale. I ended up picking up two toys at a dollar a piece right here. The first one is this Harry Potter Triwizard Cup. It is the official um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter brand, and this should go for right around 30 bucks. And then a toy I always tell you guys to look out for, American Girl Dolls. If you guys don't know how to identify these quick and easy, look for these two little strings that come out of the back of the neck. That's a very easy to way to tell if it's an American Girl or not. And then you can also look for the tag on the back. And this one actually has the Pleasant Company tag on it, which I think means it's one of the older ones. I don't know her name off the top of my head, so I'm gonna have to do some research but it's still a good pickup. I'm gonna say it's probably around 50 bucks for this little one right here. The next sale I went to was a pretty cool one. It had a bunch of random different kinds of stuff and I ended up paying up a little bit at the sale. I paid $45 for everything you're about to see. The first one is this Canon FTB film camera and this right here looks like if it works, it should go around 70 to to $100. When I bought that camera from him, he also threw in this Hollywood tripod. Probably doesn't have a ton of value because it's an old one, but hey, I'll take it. Then I also got this Ronson Crown table lighter. I've sold these before, and I think these end up going for right around 15 bucks. but it was cool, so I wasn't going to leave it there. This old pair of Colmont opera glasses was next. Again, probably not a ton of value there. I think when I looked these up, they were going for around 20 bucks, if that. These ones right here were pretty cool. These are a bunch of old photographs. So you can see like this one is an old like tin type one, and there's some negatives and stuff back in there, if you guys can see those. I'm gonna have to go through all of these and see if there's anything actually worth selling individually. There's probably not, but I'll probably end up cre creating a big lot of these to sell together. Then I actually ended up grabbing a few pieces of silver off of this guy. I got a couple of teaspoons. These guys are dated 1880. And then a butter knife right here, which is dated 1901. I also got a sterling silver bangle bracelet. It is stamped 925 on the inside of that. And then finally a pair of weighted silver candlesticks. But my favorite find from that sale, even though all of the rest of that stuff is pretty cool, is in this little box. Oh, well, first there was also this little 10K gold watch sitting in there. But then I got this right here. This is a sterling silver and turquoise inlaid Navajo slave bracelet. I've been learning how to identify certain Navajo and Zuni pieces just in case I ever came across them in a wild. And this is like the third thing that I found. So I'm really happy to have found this. Unfortunately, as you guys can see, right here on this. It is broken on the side, but the e extra piece is right here in the box. So it can be soldered back together or put back together. I'm not gonna attempt to do it. I'll probably sell it as is, but this thing is pretty cool. If this was like not broken and everything, this would probably be a $150 to $200 piece. Um, because it's broken and stuff, I can probably still maybe fingers crossed pull like 60, 70 bucks out of it. So I am really happy with that. It's a really cool piece. Then I got a couple one-off items just from random sales that I ended up going to. The first one is this Ted Williams left-handed baseball mitt right here. I don't know the value of this. I figured for a buck, I'm gonna pick it up because it is a left-handed one. It, it should go for at least 20. And then at another sale, a Amazon Eco Dot. You can see this one right here is brand new, still sealed in the box. I paid five bucks for it. It's not a huge money maker. It looks like they're going for about 20, but this should sell pretty much instantly. Oh, I missed one of the sales. So at this sale right here, I ended up picking up a few things. I ended up getting this Snap-on collectible truck right here. I don't know the value of it. He only charged me like 10 bucks for all of this stuff together. So I figured, hey, Snap-on has a pretty good collector's market. I'll grab that. And in that same vein, a Snap-on radio. You can see if you fold it up right there, there's a radio inside. The speakers come off and everything. And it does end up working. I don't know what this will go for, but Snap-on, again has a pretty good collector's market. And then at the same sale as those two Snap-on pieces, I also saw a few Xbox things. Most of the games were like sports games that didn't have a bunch of value behind them. Most Xbox 360 games are going down in value right now, but there are a few that are worth it. So first I got a extra controller right here. Not a ton of value there, but it's always nice to have to bundle with systems in the future. And then 
Alice Madness Returns, this game right here is about a $30 to $35 game, so nice little find right there. At the next sale, I ended up picking up a few pieces of clothing. I got four different cashmere sweaters right here. Three of them are Nordstrom and one of them is Saks Fifth Avenue. These should go for about 25 bucks a piece and I got them for a buck a piece. And then the best one out of all of those clothing pieces, this Peter Millar, here's the tag right here, quilted full zip vest. This piece right here should go between 50 and 60 bucks and I paid three. At another little indoor sale, I found a few things. I got this Bose Sound Dock. This is an older model, as you can tell by the iPod insert right there. It is an older model, but these still hold some decent value if they are complete. If it has the remote and the cord and everything, these still sell for around 60 bucks. And then for another $2, I actually ended up picking up another Sound Dock. This is not a Bose one, and the only reason I picked this one up was because it had this attached to it, an old iPod and the remote for it's in there. So I bought this specifically... So while I originally bought this for the iPod itself because that will go and make my money back, that'll go for at least 20, 25 bucks, this guy right here is a Kips Chishish. I've never heard of that brand right there before, but I looked it up and it looks like this Room Groove right here will go for around 40 to 50 bucks. So <laughs> goodbye right there. I also found one video game there. I found The Witcher right here. It is brand new, sealed in the package, and this one looks like it's going for around 30. And then I ended up finding one book there that I ended up taking a chance on. This is a Saxon Math 1 homeschooling book. I didn't look it up at the sale. I just figured homeschooling stuff is spiked right now because of everything going on. So I took a chance on it and paid a buck. And lastly from that sale, one piece of clothing. You can see this is a Spider Down jacket. Spider's a pretty good snowboarding and outdoors brand. And it has a decent little following. This should go for right around 50 bucks. And then finally, the last item I'm going to show you was the largest single item purchase I made of the day. This is a Garmin Rhino 650 GPS unit. It's a hunting and hiking GPS in case you get lost or you need a signal for help. That's what this is for. I've talked about these before. They are great, great sellers. I found this at like 11 o'clock. So there was already a ton of other Reap sellers who passed this by specifically probably because it was a $50 item. But I looked it up. Looks like used. It's going for around $300. But this one is brand new in the box. It has been opened, but everything inside is still in the plastic and has the covers on it. I found one sold comp for just under $500 on this guy. So 50 bucks into a potential 500 bucks right there. I'm telling you, don't pass this stuff up and don't be afraid to pay up on items if it's going to be worth it. I, I, I can't believe this was still laying around at 11 o'clock. But wow, what a great weekend of sales. I can't believe how much stuff I ended up finding this weekend, how much good stuff I ended up finding this weekend too. It's not just all bread and butter items. There are some bangers in there. What a great weekend to be out there and finding stuff for the treasure hunt. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this kind of content. If you did like this style of video and want to see more of my treasure hunting adventures, be sure you hit that like button. It helps me out and helps my video rank a little better. I help you, you help me. It's a win-win situation. Also, while you're down there, make sure to subscribe. It'll keep you up to date whenever I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a thing or two. And until next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.